welcome to Friday Nights with Emma. Um, I have a, a problem because someone is immature and they don't want to move. <clears throat> Come on, Link. You're going to have to shift. I need to sit there. I do. Come on, Baba. Come on. We can, we can move. You can sit on them if you want. Come on. I'm hoping he's still going to move because I need to show you these. <laughs> wow. Christine from Glasgow. Hi, Christine. Oh, oh, I've got, I've got a, this might get him away. Diamond. Oh. Hi, Shirley. Even. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. I didn't actually have to move him. In. Hi, Em. Terry. I want to show you these. Angie. Hi, Terry. Hi, Angie. Cheers on gin tonight. tonight. Bit of aviation gin. Even though Rexham didn't win, right? They didn't win at Wembley? Oh, I'm guessing. Sorry. Rexham, they didn't win? I have no idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why would you ask me? I have no idea. Because it's your, it's it's Ryan Reynolds' team. Yes, but I don't know if they, they well, they when were we, at Wembley. For what? They didn't they play at Wembley? I don't know. Recently, like this week. I have no idea. I don't follow football. I thought you did. I thought you you followed up and you like Ryan Reynolds, so I figured you'd know what his team is no, doing. No, uh, Kate, Cheryl, <laughs> Diane, Hi, Kate. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, uh, Diane, Christine, hello, hello, Annette. Hi, Annette. So, this pile of quilts, I was going through. And says you look lovely. Love oh, the thank dress. You. Thank you very much. I made it. Inspired by Rafe. From sewing bee. it's the same pattern that he did for his uh, mustard dress. Karen is watching. Good evening. Still busy with the Jubilee bunting. Catherine oh, is yeah. watching. Hi, Catherine. So these quilts are ones that um, and I'm, I'm trying to sort of de-stash the house. So these are ones that I am actually going to put up for sale because everybody keeps asking me, "Do you ever put your quilts up for sale?" Well, now is your chance, and mm. I'll show you them. And what I'll do. Christine says, I thought Wrexham has become a city. I have no idea. It is. It has. Yeah, there's been quite a few cities. Milton Keynes is a city. Wrexham's a city. Um, there's a few other ones. Barbara. Hey, Barbara. You're Sarah. Oh, hi, Sarah. So, what I'll do is, I'm going to post a picture. I'm going to show you now, but I'm going to post a picture of all these quilts uh, separately on the Swift Quilting Facebook page. Um, with a price, and I'll tell you that now as well. Um, if you want to buy it, it will be you have to be quick because it will be a first come, first served. Whoever puts in the comments that they want it first gets it basically, and then we'll message um, for postage and and payment and all of that later. But I'll tell you all these quilts. So this one is a little mini. It was a little challenge that I did um, for the traditional group. I think it was to display, I think it eventually went to Festival of Quilts, but I think it was to display at the, um, what do you call it, the annual meeting, AGM. So, and they gave us, I think they gave us this green fabric, the binding fabric, and one other one that we had to use in the quilt. Oh, I think it was this orange, the deep orange. Christine says she was born in Wrexham and moved to Cornwall 15 years ago. And Molly says, good evening, love the dress too. Oh, Where is the pattern from? And Lorna is watching. Oh, I just put it away. It is literally, I'll, I'll have to post a picture, but it's literally, it's the same one that Rafe did when he was in the sewing bee. Is it last year? And he did the mustard one in Broderie Anglaise. It's the same pattern as that. Um, so yeah, so that's this one. It's a little hang wall hanging. That's the back of it. Uh, it's got a little sleeve. It's, um, I hand quilted it. It's hand applique, hand quilted. Dawn is watching. Hi, Dawn. So if you if you like that one, that'll be twenty pounds. And it has yeah, it has my name and, and label. It actually has a label on the back. Kirsty is watching first time live. She's managed in ages. Oh, welcome, welcome. Right then, we got this one. This one is literally just a panel. So this was left over, well left over, this was made when I had the shop as a way to use a panel um, for a non-quilter 
as a beginner, literally have not quilted before to have made this one. So this was a sample. So it is, um, like I said, it's a panel. It's quilted, machine quilted uh, around the edge. I'll show you the back. Joanne and Mum Maureen. Oh, hi, Joe. Hi, Mum Maureen. It's bagged. It's not bound. It's all bagged. It's got wadding on, uh, cotton wadding on the inside. And it's grey star background. So you have a toddler, baby in your life. New gender neutral quilt. That one's £35. So I'll put it up. All lovely photos. And actually, if you really wanted to, you could actually add more quilting to the inside of this. So you could add your own sort of personalised stamp to it as well. And this one doesn't have a label, so you can add your own label. That's that one. And says a great panel. Okay. Um, and then this is a cushion cover. So it's a slip cover. Non-quilted, but it is a folded star. Joanne, uh, sorry to ask, but where will these be? Um, I will put them on the, the Swift Quilting Facebook page. So I'll put them on individually uh, after this. Um, I'll have a picture of each with the price. And then the first person to comment gets it, basically. Or the first person to comment that they want to buy it gets it. <laughs> there we go. So that one, uh, yeah, slip cover, folded star. Fifteen pounds. I'll put it on. Oh, this is another slip cover, cushion cover, slip cover. Now this one, there is a quilt to go with it, but I, I so I may sell the quilt at a later point as well. So this one, the pattern itself, the block, is sisters. You you'll have a little bit of link fur on them as well because link is now you can show. Link is now making himself comfy on the pile again. Like, yeah. So apologies for that, but that does come with the territory. Uh, Cheryl says, can we comment on here or just on the website, on the Facebook website? It'll be on the Facebook. So after this, I will put them all on. You'll see them. Um, and it, there'll, there'll be only one spot, so there's no confusion. The first person to comment that they want it gets it, yeah, basically. Don't, don't, don't comment here. No, don't comment here. You have to... When I post it, you have to put it on the post of the of the picture that you want. And I'll do them individually. Joanne says Link is a star. Yes. Uh, so yeah, so the block is Sister's Choice. And the colours are suffragette colours. So that's why we made that one. Catherine says, yay, Link is there. Yeah. That was also £15. Oh, you'll like this one. This one... There's actually a bit of story behind this one, so I'll show you the back. Margaret is watching, says, good evening, lovely new bed for Link you're showing. Yeah. <laughs> and Joanne says, fastest fingers first. Yes, exactly. Um, you can see the flying, flying pigs on this one. This one, so, when I, before I started at Sewing Quarter, I was asked to come in and, and um, do a test screen, basically, and bring a project that I could demonstrate. And this was a project that I took uh, to demonstrate. So I had to demonstrate on camera, not on air, but behind the scenes. They did it. They did it after they went off air in the afternoon. It was your audition. Yeah, basically. Yeah, my, this is made for my audition for sewing quarter. Yeah, so that was also fifteen pounds. This is. It's unbound, it's not quite finished. Um, this a little, not, no sleeve, so you need to add a sleeve to it. But this was made for a class that I did. Just a little quick landscape. So, £12 on that one. It's all machine, you can see the quilting on, did on the back as well. This is all done, domestic machine. Catherine says, well, I love the pigs. Yeah, <laughs> the pigs are fun. Now this one, this one's a full quilt. Now we get into the quilt. So I've got two quilts. Yes, two quilts. So this one. Joanne asks, will you do that again as a class or a demo? Um, yeah, I could do. I'll have to see what, 
I can't remember. I think it was just a um, a pattern I made up, just a block I made up, sort of on the fly. Um, this quilt, you can see it's all um, planets, all stars, fully bound, machine quilted, bound, oh, oh, what was I say? Yes, machine quilted. This, I'm trying to think what wadding is in this one. I'm trying to remember. I want to say it might be, it might be wool. It might be wool in this one. Um, sleeved, so if you want to hang it up, it's got a sleeve on it. Joanne says very Star Trek. It's close, but it's <laughs> not quite. Not quite. It's quilted in variegated purple. I don't know if you can see that up close. Variegated purple threads. Very 80s technique. <laughs> uh, Joan is watching. So yeah. So if you want that one, you can grab yourself a bargain. All done. £95 for that one. And then the last one, which is a bit bigger. But again, this is a fully quilted. You can see on the back, it's all quilted. Variegated rainbow thread well you'll see that on the front as well joanne says looking at the colors of the stars and the uniform colors that's true that's true this is quite a bit bigger oh, yeah this is probably fit on the bed so it is black background with a rainbow um lone star in the middle with a scrappy border well it's not scrappy but it's it ties in with the middle So completely finished. This one doesn't have a sleeve. No label on that one. So completely finished. That one's 165 for a four bed one. So I will put pictures of those on. And it's all long arm quilted. It has the uh, heat wave pattern on it. But I'd rather it went to a home that loved it rather than being folded up and um, put on a shelf as where it lives at the moment. Tina says, uh, love the quilt and the dress. Oh, thank you. And Karen says, well, I can't believe you were selling that quilt. And Sandra says, that is oh. amazing. I love it. Oh, thanks, Bob. Watch your space. Oh, all my bits have just come off. I was going to sew. And Joanne says, so gorgeous, amazing work. You are very clever. Oh, thank you. Um, while I'm up, I'll show you a sneak peek of next week, next Friday, on Sewing Street, the Jubilee. I'm in the process of binding it. But it's quilted. So this is the Queen's Head quilt that I'm demonstrating next week on Sewing Street. And it comes in this colourway. Yeah, that is right way up. And in red and blue as well. So that'll be finished by the week end of the weekend. Oops. That's that one. So yeah, so watch the Swift Quilting Facebook page and I'll put all those projects, all those finished items up for sale on there. Right. I need a drink. Yeah, Link is not moving now. So I don't think Link is going to be happy that all those things are going, but I will be. <laughs> so what I thought I'd show you, because I'm doing some sewing. Is one of the blocks for the kit for next week. So I showed you all the fabric last week. And this is what it's called Paradise, Paradise Lane. I love the fabrics, they're all, all sort of a mix. And then the pattern on the back is one of those again. I think the pattern, buy it for the fabric and do the pattern in the solids or, or with a bit more contrast because look at that pattern. 
I think it's lost in the fabric a little bit, just my opinion. But I think it would look stunning if you had some really lovely contrasting solids or some nice contrasting colours in there to really highlight the pattern. But it's really easy actually. So, oh, and it has um, mitered corners for the border. That's going to be interesting. Anyway. So what the block is, and I'm just going to recreate it. I'm going to put those aside because I'm going to need those in a minute. Catherine says, we don't worry about cats. Main goal in life is to be displeased at us humans. It's in the <laughs> cat law. <laughs> and Karen says, yay, finished the last length of bunting. That's Yay! 250 lengths of bunting done. Wow. If anyone asks me for more, I think I might just poke them in the eye. Yes, I agree. I I, I haven't done bunting. I bought bunting, which, you know, we should be sewing it. But I, yeah, I, uh, I can't do bunting. I cannot. I've done it. I have sewn bunting. And yeah. It is not my thing, not my thing, but I completely admire what you've just achieved. So I'm just going to lay my fabrics out to recreate the block first off. <laughs> Karen says you bought bunting. <laughs> yeah, I bought bunting. Yeah, trust me. Because the, the 20 pounds that I spent on bunting was a lot cheaper than my time to spend doing that task, which I do not like. Uh, let's see this one. I think that's the short, is that the longer of the two? Or the shorter of the two? They're only half an inch. Okay, that's a long of two. That one goes there. And that one goes there. So it's kind of, it's a four, a four patch and then like a half log cabin around the outside. And then these, which one's longer? And then one of these here to the outer. And then one of these here. Just like that. So the construction of them is basically the same, only the colours of the strips change. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first off, change my foot. Sorry everyone. I should have a... Uh, Catherine says, I don't give bunting, never ever put it up, and too old to start now. <laughs> well, we only do it for special occasions. I do have some Union flag bunting for the Jubilee. Oh! oh. Um, um, Diane says, sorry I'm late, uh, but out of kilter, as unfortunately she's had to put one of her dogs to sleep oh, this afternoon. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, hugs, hugs. That is the worst thing. That is the worst decision we have to make as pet owners. Kate said, finished her bunting. It will it will get a second outing for Bastille Day oh. when we go to her daughter's in July. Yes. Um. that's done this is one of those quilts where you do have to make sure you've got the right quarter of an inch so I'm going to nudge my needle over a little bit because I know from experience that my quarter of an inch is a little bit big on this sewing machine Joanne says your dress is lovely oh thank you very much it has pockets
I couldn't understand because I think all of his clothes have pockets. They're practical. They are practical. I don't understand why women's clothes don't have more. Patriarchy. Is it? Yeah. No, is it? Of course it is. Or you can turn around and just say that because you women make men carry everything. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, so I've got my line. Let me just measure. This isn't the best thing to measure with, but it will work. So I'm going to lay my edge of my ruler against the edge. And that is too big, too big, too big. And you, can, you actually might be able to see why. <laughs> Joanne says, oh, hole can't open there. <laughs> <laughs> so my line of sewing, I can see my line of sewing on this side of the quarter of an inch line, which I do not want. Everything is set in just. So I've just nudged it over a couple of more times. <laughs> and I also have quite thick thread here, which is another reason I have to nudge it over. So I'm actually using leftovers of from my long arm quilting machine, so I don't have any waste. But this is a 40 weight thread rather than a 50 weight thread that you normally use for piecing. So it's a little bit thicker, which is another reason that it is taking up a bit more space. Karen says, but if we had pockets, then there would be no excuse to buy pretty bags. Mm -hmm. And Joanne says, indeed, or to make pretty bags. This is true. Although I, I've kind of gotten out of the habit of carrying a handbag. I did take her on holiday, but or I, when I go to London, I do have one actually. I have a crossover one when I go to London. Yes. Which isn't very often. Yeah, still a little bit more, so I'm going to go one more over. Let's see. So this is two and a half, okay. So if I am doing two and a half by two and a half squares, and I sew them together, it should be four and a half. Two and a half and two and a half is five. Yeah, but you, you take up a quarter of an inch from each from the, the seam allowance. So, so that's four and a half then. Four and a half. So that's what you're I'm aiming for is when I sew all these together. That we end up with a four and a half inch square. I've never seen him so attracted to a pile of quilts no no unless they, they smell like something oh. uh, Margaret says ladies pockets were originally cloth made pouches on a cord and tied around the waist early oh. bum bags oh hmm. did not know that thank you So let me just see, pressing that out, okay. so it should measure from four edge, four edge, four, ah, oh, look at that, thing of beauty, thing of beauty, so it does pay before you start, it's power of math people, no, um, to adjust your needle position, especially depending on the needle that you're using, the thread that you're using, before you start a project so that everything will fit. And the reason that everything needs to fit correctly with this one is because, you, as you can see from my half log cabin bit, all the rectangles are pre-cut. So if we don't have the right seam allowance, they will all be slightly off. And then it will just become a pain.
there. So that's my four patch. It's done. And I've nested the seams in the middle so it matches. It's easier to match it up in the middle. Joanne says there's a whole book about women's pockets and social history about oh. who had pockets and what they carried in them. Actually, really interesting. Mm -hmm. That does sound interesting. Diamond asks, why are they called bum bags when they are worn at the front? <laughs> it's true. Well, I have to admit, it's what the Americans call them that makes us like giggle. Uh, Annette says, I went to sort the, out the dog, sort the dogs out, and now I don't know what you're making. Oh, now I am. I'm doing one of the blocks for the quilt for next week. Because the, all of the blocks are essentially the same. So what I'm doing, I've laid all my strips out. So my four patches made. So now I'm just going to go in turn and add all of my strips. I've... Um, Checked my seam allowance to make sure that I've got the right seam allowance by adjusting my needle. And I wouldn't normally worry too much about that, but because all my rectangles are pre-cut, it will help a lot to get the quarter of an inch correct. Maureen says, evening all, that's exactly the mistake I made with her first log cabin with pre-cut strips. Oh, Always check yes. the needle position now. Yeah. And Annette says thank you. Oh, you're <laughs> and I'm just finger pressing these. I'll give them a good press. Once it's all done. That should fit nicely there. Don't forget the little trick. If you do have one bit that is slightly longer than the other, put the longer piece uh, down. Because it will, because the feed dogs uh, feed through the bottom layer of fabric through quicker, ever so slightly quicker. It will take up that little bit of excess if you've got any. quite nicely I do say so right and then this one goes on to here look at that look at that look at that Hey, Fever? Yes. It's early this year. So, our, in our village, we have um, the rec, the oval. It's called the oval because they play cricket on it. Um, but the whole lower part of it, and then going into the church, is lined with uh, linden trees or lime trees. And when those flower, they smell amazing. But the pollen is just an absolute killer. There we go. Well, I can't remember. I, th did, I think somebody asked about lead times for quilts last time. Well, I'll tell you, <laughs> my um, queue went down by one quilt 
because I opened a box, I had all my quilts. I, I keep everything packaged until I'm ready to quilt it so that I know everything's all together and it's all neat and nice. So I opened uh, a box, which I thought had a quilt in it, ready for quilting, and discovered that it had a motorcycle part in it instead. Uh, and I forgot I'd ordered it. So I was one quilt less in the queue, so it made everybody jump up a little bit. So my lead time went down. I was quite pleased actually, it was a pleasant surprise. <laughs> I forgot I'd ordered that. Joanne asks, was it a bit that you needed? Um, it, it wasn't really one that I needed, it was one that is a nice to have. It's a new, uh, a different, new, different side piece for my little monkey because my original one is a little bit scuffed and it's black and the new one is nice, new and shiny and it's red. Girls and their toys. Yeah. Monkey's been in the shop having a few bits done to him. Nothing. He hasn't been ill. He's just being modified. He gets to come home tomorrow. So that's exciting. Yeah, this is going together really well. Definitely need to check your needle you position. I think Link is going to put a bit in first. <laughs> he is sound asleep on that. Sandy is watching. Oh, hi, Sandy. On the swift to back, did I play the swift to back last? No. You might be able to see, um, well, on camera it's a bit bright with the windows and so don't think you'd be able to see the swifts. But you never know, you might see them in the corner there. We have two Swifts in our box, don't we? Yeah, yeah. We have a, our neighbor has a lot of the boxes. He's the one that puts all the nesting boxes up. But we have one on the back of the house and we have two Swifts in it. It's a bit like having a cat jump on your lap when the Swifts nest in your box. It's like, oh, we have been chosen. <laughs> Either that or all the other ones have been taken. Mm -hmm. no, we had some in there last year too. Yeah, I'm teasing. Theoretically, they should be the same ones if they, they made be. it. Okay, and then the last two. This is a very skinny strip. This one. And then the last two go right here. Perfect. I'm just going to see how many. One, two, three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Eighteen blocks to do all together. That's not too many, actually. Size it. Hundred oh, centimeter. I hate it when they put it in centimeters. Why? I thought it's just tens, my love. <laughs> It's very easy to calculate centimetres, but it's hard to, to I, I prefer quilts in inches. Ah. But I think it's a single size. 125 by 160. So I'm pretty sure that is a single size quilt. And so there is, oh, I don't think Nick's laying on it. There's an extra bit of border, which is cut. So that you all, because you've got a border print with flamingos, it's cut so that you have the flamingos going the right way. 
we've got a length of fabric, uh, not width of fabric, but narrower, but long, so that you can cut your long, two long strips for here and here. That's quite clever. Barbara says she loves your dress. Oh, thank you. Thinking of doing another and one exactly the same, but in green. Mm, yes, yeah. Uh, Sandy asks, when are you on Sewing Street? Friday, uh, isn't it? Yeah, week from today, next Friday. I'm not sure who I'm on with yet, actually. <laughs> Lolly says, I sew in inches and cook in pounds and ounces. How old am I? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I would just say it's correct. Uh, Joanne says, yep. Friday the 3rd of July. June. Ju 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 June. Yes, yeah, sorry. June. June. Soon be July, though. Soon be Christmas. Only six more pay periods till. Shh. It's okay. <laughs> I don't think there'll be many presents this year. Joanne says she agrees with your look. <laughs> It's not about the presents. It's about the festive time of year. The day spent cooking? And the th four days spent cleaning, yes. I, yes. And Margaret says, who cares about which measurement, so long as the end result is okay. This is true. This is true. As long as you don't mix units. That's how the miles are over crashed. Needs a good pressing. That is block one done. And then the other ones, like I said, are all <laughs> in the same vein, only different different colours. Diamond says when all your cutting mats and rulers are in inches, you lose the plot when somebody says blah blah in centimeters. Yes. I agree. Well surely they make cutting mats and rulers they, in centimeters. They do. Uh, Cheryl says, next Friday, John is presenting and Stuart is demonstrating bags. Oh, you got to be both there. Yay. Might be an armor, John. I saw, I thought I captured it this week. They He showed, was it Roy? Oh, it, his real name is Brian, but Roy from behind the scenes. I don't know what he did. Yeah, he got somebody else. Okay. Don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that, that is that is it. That's what will be for next week. That and the Queen's Quilt. Queen's Quilt will be it's super easy. Because it's a panel. And literally, sashing, posts, border, very quick quilt. I'm going to add a label. Actually, I've got a label on it. I'm going to add a label to it to mark for the Jubilee. Yes, year. yeah, yeah. So that's that is it. That is it. It it. That's all done. This is for we're doing another block. Joanne says I have a panel from last time, and they are oh. so quick, and the fabric is really good quality too. It is, and actually this year, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to think where it is. Where did I put it? <laughs> Excuse me. Momentito, let me see if I can find that that the panel. Joanne says mum has the bright one. Oh 
and I have the pesto. That's right. So, they were good last year. This is, this is one that was left over from last year that I made up. For this year, they're even better. Um, this is the fabric. So I think they've changed um, the printer that they use. So I think Sewing Street have changed printers or changed something about it. But this fabric, this is a remnant from the, the panel that I've cut out. And it is literally, it's like... Um, shirt material. Yeah, shirt and shirt. It's like cotton lawn. It's so nice. It feels ever so slightly silky. Elaine says, I like the block and no biased edges or flying geese, which always stump her. And yeah. Joanne says, the colors look a little different on the screen. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes, they do. They're a bit more muted, I would say. Yeah. So this is the the red and blue one. Muted on the screen, I mean. They're more oh, vibrant. Okay, and... more vibrant. Or actually, no, these are actually the opposite. No. They're more bright. They're more bright on camera okay. than, than on. Yeah, and it feels lovely. And then there's your union flag. And then for your corner posts on that one, you've got blue. So instead of lavender, you've got blue. And the cream is a deeper cream. It's more of a yellowy cream, which would be really nice. Joanne says the pastels look a little more pale on screen than in real life. Oh, okay, she agrees, yeah. Yeah. It, is, it is. Yeah. It isn't. That's a pastel one. Annette says, they, thank you both. Good night, everyone. Oh. Have a lovely weekend. Looking after all my daughter's dogs and mine don't like it, so I must go and sort them out again. Oh, dear. Okay. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. And uh, actually, I think that's pretty much done for us, to be honest with you um thanks for joining hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you on friday immediately after this stay tuned i mean keep watching the facebook page because i am going to start putting yes because this, this, this will end this will stop this will stop and then i'll put those projects or those those things on immediately um so you can if anybody's interested in them they can put comment on it say i'd like to buy it and then I'll be in touch and we'll, we'll arrange everything. Um, so yeah, that's my drink, my drink. Cheers, have a good weekend, enjoy the sun. I'm not sure it's gonna be sunny next week, but we'll see. And see you next week, bye-bye. Good night all.